What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and episode three of Shredding Season, guys. I am feeling absolutely wonderful on this Sunday morning. And I was actually thinking about that in the shower this morning, about how much different my Sundays are now. My Sundays used to be days that were spent stranded in bed or on the couch, hung over from either A, drinking way too much on a Saturday night, or just staying up way too late and kind of just being a little irresponsible. But now I wake up on a Sunday and it's another day to go out here, seize my goals and absolutely crush everything in my path. So it's crazy how all that turns around, right? But I don't want to touch on that too much right now. I am getting ready to head to the gym. It is about 8.30 in the morning and I normally don't go this early, but I figured why not go ahead and get it out of the way. The Travis S collaboration video launches today at 10 a.m. So I want to go there, get my workout done as fast as I can. Probably gonna do a lot of supersets, try to get in there, get as much volume in as fast as I can. I got 20 minutes of high intensity interval training on the schedule for today too. So I'm gonna bring my camera and show you all this. I'm gonna get in, get out, and just really uh, get that out of the way. So I can spend the rest of my Sunday enjoying myself and doing a little bit of relaxing while still knowing that I got all my work done. So enough talk, let's go and head to the gym. So you guys ready for this? I thought so. Let's do it. All right, guys, just got to the gym, get ready to take my pre-workout today. It's actually kind of crazy because I don't normally work out this early, so I'm still fasted right now. I took two scoops of pure aminos before I came to get those branch chain aminos in my system because, like I said, you don't want to burn off that muscle, you want to burn off that fat. So, but I'm getting ready to take some Total War, dry scoop this bad boy. And stacked with pure pump. All right, let's do it. How about that dry scoop action, ladies and gentlemen? Nothing gets you better prepared for a workout than some dry scoop action. And if you're in a position to right now, take a dry scoop and get ready for this Remington James workout voiceover, guys, because it is going down. So starting off this chest and tricep workout off with some really light bench press. I don't do a lot of stretching personally. I kind of just come in, whatever my primary movers are for that day, I'll just do some really light rep weight here just to stretch out, focus on form, mobility, and all that good stuff before I really start adding on weight. So I'm only putting one 35 on the bar here and the reason why is because I'm doing a superset and this is one of my favorite chest supersets ever so pay attention I'm just gonna hit some standard flat bench no big deal just kind of hitting that it's light getting me kind of warmed up and then right when you think it's about to hurt you're like, okay I'm done you got to reach down immediately after with as minimal break as possible grab yourself some dumbbells and transition over into some wide dumbbell bench flies I'm not sure what the correct name is for these but pay attention to I feel it the most when I go down wide look at that and then back up to the top and touch. So I am cutting some of the reps out of this. That way you're not watching me do the same thing over and over again. If you see any jump cuts, that is the reason why. And then transitioning here, we hit the final couple sets with 225 on here. And it'd been a while since I'd really hit 225 pounds for reps. And I was actually surprised. Typically on a cut, you are known to lose strength. I mean, you're losing weight, obviously. You're not having as much muscle glycogen in there. And you're just not having the carbs and the energy to really go as heavy. So I'm noticing on here, like I still got 12 reps, but I normally like at the height of my last bulk, I could get it 21 times. And 12 here got a little iffy. I didn't want to push too far past it without a spotter. And keep in mind, guys, too, if you are bench pressing, don't put collars on the side of those weights if you are benching alone. Because if you can't dump that weight, that is a terrible thing. And that's how a lot of people get hurt in the gym. So little piece of advice there. But another superset there, finish that off. And then that's done. Transitioning now into incline bench. And I'm a huge fan of incline, guys. I didn't really used to hit it because I felt like it hurt my shoulders. But once you get your form down, I don't know if you can pay attention mentioned how I kind of like my back's a little arched and if you really focus on bar placement and you hit the top of your chest it is an amazing feeling and I've noticed a lot more development since I implemented that and boom what do we have here we have another superset guys I'm telling you those two supersets back to back if you do four sets of flat bench dumbbell press supersets mixed with the incline version of the same thing you're good <clears throat> guys those supersets are killer. I'm literally only two workouts in, but the flat bench with the dumbbell fly superset and then the incline bench with the dumbbell fly superset. And I am already toast. I don't know if you can see this, but I am pumped and feeling really good. And the workout just started. So don't neglect supersets, guys. Such an easy way to get in a lot of volume really fast, especially if you're short on time. You come in in 20 minutes and get a really good workout. So back to it. 
<laughs> well, I guess he just repeated exactly what I just said. Past Ram. I'm not a fan of any Ram that's older than 24 hours, if you ask me. <laughs> Which at this point in time, he's now about 30 hours. So, not not a fan. Any anyways, we are getting back into this workout. Now, I'm hitting some cable flies right here. And I was trying to show you good form with this angle of the camera. But in order to do these right, guys, pay attention to how I go out wide. And I try to touch my hands as far forward as I can. That's making sure we're activating the majority of the pec muscle that we're trying to hit. We're getting the maximum amount of gains. And pay attention here, guys. I was pointing out on the incline press earlier. I want to show you. See those chest muscles at the top? If you want to develop those and get those lines, you got to hit those inclines. And then you've seen the line towards the side. That is more developed from these flies right here. And then I switch the angle so you can kind of see this a little better. If you catch me looking at the camera, just pay attention. Just know that I'm looking at the screen trying to make sure my placement's good. But if you can see here, I'm kind of going out and then pressing down and forward as much as I can. Almost like you're hugging a tree, guys. That's, that's the only way I can think to put it. Oh, nose hurt too. Okay. But you want your arms to be wide like you're grabbing something. And that's where you want to touch at the end. Boom, little fist bump for the lens. Now, a little story about this. Normally I do low cable flies, but the other side ended up, the low part of it was broke. So I had to do single arm low cables, which, I mean, it ended up working out good. I prefer doing double at the same time, but this is a good way to still get the work in, still hit the muscle that we're trying to hit without having to totally just just give up guys there's always a way around any obstacle in life you just gotta have a creative way to get over it so hitting these here and then we're gonna finish up with these peep the american flag in the background shout out jacked fitness and then transition yeah see i threw my hands up because i was gonna leave the footage of the cable machine being broken there but didn't want to make this video too long and then transitioning here to a pec deck now uh, the same thing with this as we're doing those other flies you want your you want to go out as far as you can in front of you like you're hugging a tree or you're hugging some great ant i don't know <laughs> whoever you hug in that fashion that's how you want to do it because the farther out your hands are the more pec impact you're gonna have the more muscle stimulation you're ultimately gonna get and then i'm about to switch angles here to kind of show you once again i like to do two angles oh hit them with that flex boy i like to show you two angles just so you get a good idea so pay attention look how far out my hands are going some people kind of let their elbows get all bent and they don't have that full straight arm motion and like i said if you want maximum benefit guys you really want to reach out and take what you want so enjoy these for sure most gyms have those and then transition in here to some push-ups typically i'll superset those two back to back but i didn't want to have to set the camera up i know i'm kind of making an excuse but i did hit those two supersets in the beginning and those really 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 toasted me so one thing i wanted to point out here is that push-ups right a lot of people kind of neglect some of these bodyweight exercises and i'm not a huge fan of doing them at the beginning of a workout or whatever but i really think they're really good at putting the icing on the cake so to say at the end of a workout bodyweight stuff is great I don't find that, you know, you get so strong and so adept at doing these workouts that eventually just body weight stuff simply doesn't give you the stimulation you need. But at the end of a workout, once you're already fatigued, this is a great way to add some extra volume in there without having to, you know, load a machine up or anything like that. So I love those. Now, that is basically the end of my chest workout, but this is what I call a transition exercise. I'm hitting some dips here. Now pay attention, I don't get much tricep activation on these because I'm leaning forward, I'm focusing on hitting my chest, but I'm still getting some tricep isolation, which makes this a good crossover workout because not only am I still hitting my chest, finishing that off, but I'm getting my triceps warmed up to kind of move into those to get a couple exercises in as well. So I wanna show you here another angle that way you can see Boom, look at that. See how I'm bending forward. Now, if you go more straight up and down and don't have that forward bend, it's gonna activate more of your triceps. And you can see my triceps activating, but right here, I'm so, like I said, it's a chest workout. I'm just trying to focus on the chest. On an arm day, I would have a different style of form. So moving in, now one of my favorite, and everybody's favorite, it should be, tricep exercises is just a tricep rope push down. I absolutely love these guys. I hammer these out every single tricep workout dang near, and I've gotten loads of progress just doing these. And it's not very hard, just keep them elbows in, and straight boom crunch out you can see me activate my muscle as i go down so just pay attention to your form on these i see some people activate back and stuff like that oh quick little physique update i'm going to try to throw these in to these vlogs that i'm doing almost i don't want to say every episode but i kind of want to throw them in to show you guys my progress day to day i think it'll be nice to look back and see just how i slowly get leaner all right here we go now the final tricep exercise i'm doing here these are single arm push downs pay attention i'm trying to point to you here that i keep my arm straight basically the only thing i'm extending is the forearm Arm, try to keep my elbow locked in and then boom 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 it's all about isolating that tricep guys as you develop your mind muscle connection this will all get easier then i transition arms and there you have it so this has been a nice little arm workout guys i think a uh, past ram has something to say real quick and then future ram will be right back all right guys workout is complete feeling really good like i said for fasted training a lot of people ask me about um 
training fasted, losing gains and stuff like that. And I don't always do it, but if I need to, like this morning, I will train fasted. And as long as I'm drinking my branch chain aminos and my jug, as well as the aminos I had before I came in, the pure bollocks, then uh, I'm good to go. So don't seem to be losing any gains. Anyway, that music's picking back up. So I'm gonna hop on, do my 20 minutes of high intensity interval training. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what the rest of this day has in store. Well, what do you know? Future M's back to pay you a visit. Now, I just want to give you a quick rundown of what my cardio is looking like. This high intensity interval training. So I'm setting up the speed here. Now, this is my low intensity portion. Still pretty high intensity, but I'm going, you know, a decent little pace here. Then you're going to watch me switch the controls up every minute. I'm alternating one minute low, one minute high. And then boom, we just switched it up. Now, pay attention to how much faster my legs are going. So basically, I go the settings from 70 steps a minute all up to 130 steps a minute and then I diet back down for a minute and I alternate minute to minute so quick little update there guys back to the show all right guys just wrapped up my high intensity interval training and I am exhausted but I had to stop by and say hi to Mindy it's been a while since you've been on the channel I've been hiding hiding no <laughs> I've been sick well comment below guys if you want to see Mindy in some future videos because I don't think we've done a workout video yet. I mean, we've worked out together, but not an actual like workout video. <gasps> Let's do it. All right. My All right. Arms. arms. Comment below with what you want to see us work out and uh, we'll make her happen. I got a lot of videos to make guys. The streak ain't ending. So comment below and we'll get it done. <laughs> we'll do it. You got to say hi to Diamond Dave real quick. <gasps> hi, Diamond Dave. There's a couple others that follow me a lot. Danny. Danny. Yeah. Hi, Danny. <laughs> um, Somebody named T-Bone. T-Bone. And Drew. And Drew. And Fat Boy Fitness. It's vlogs, yeah. I think, right? Yeah, that's exactly what Yeah. Awesome. I so. see them all. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I am a sweaty mess in case you can see from all that cardio I just did. 20 minutes high intensity interval training. I am loving doing this, but regardless, I'll talk to you guys more about this later, but say bye to Mindy. See you, Mindy. Bye. Until next time, guys. Don't forget, comment below. Okay guys, just got home a little bit ago and as you just seen, I am eating some eggs, egg whites, and brown rice. Now, what I do is I take three eggs, throw 100 grams of brown rice in here, and then I had almost a full container of liquid egg whites left, but I used a couple of them last night for some protein muffins I made. If you watched yesterday's video, yeah, I made those. You didn't see them, but I made them. I'll put them in a future video, I promise. But uh, I had to use the rest of that. So this is gonna be roughly about 58 to 60 grams of protein here, 15 grams of fat that we're getting from the three egg yolks, the whole eggs I kept in, and then we're getting probably about 24, 25 grams of complex carbohydrates from the brown rice. So really good way to break my fast. It is now 12.10, and I tell you guys, sometimes I break my fast at one, sometimes I break it a little earlier. Well, today I've been up earlier, so I fasted for already four hours. I trained fasted, and I did my cardio fasted, so I felt like, you know, getting this nutrition in my system was probably my best move. Plus, I got a lot of work I gotta go do some editing to do to get the video out for you guys, so. This was uh, the best move. Mm, amazing. And yes, I do throw all my ingredients in one thing and fry them together. So my brown rice is already cooked. So I threw it in with my eggs, dumped it all in there, scrambled it all together. I've done that with oatmeal, I've done that with sweet potato. I actually did that last night with sweet potato. So don't be afraid to do that, guys. You know, <laughs> make it as easy and as pain-free as possible on yourself. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get to editing and I'll check back in here in a little bit. Oh, hello, fancy seeing you here. You know what the worst part about being a gym rat slash bodybuilder slash, I guess just those things, is that you do so much laundry. Not only am I washing my clothes that are like regular clothes I wear out, but like I, I dirty gym clothes like every day. So double the laundry, double the work, but hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna show you guys how I get my clothes cleaned and you're probably gonna laugh at me, but this is how I do it. And basically there's no secret trick. Literally, I don't care if it's my nicest shirt. I don't care if it's white. I don't care if it's dark. I throw every single article of clothing I have in one load. And uh, I don't really uh, discriminate. I don't like to make this a very stressful process. I literally just, as you can see, we got blacks, we got reds, we got whites. We got everything going in here. And then yeah, I think I'm probably filling this thing up 
Uh, way too full, but oh well. Okay, this thing is packed to the brim. And then as far as soap is concerned, I have really sensitive skin, so I am using free and clear. There's no artificial dyes or anything in here. It seems to help my skin from breaking out. As you guys know, if you watch me long enough, I struggle with acne, I struggle with pimples. I don't get so much on my body as long as I'm not using dirty soaps and uh, I'm taking showers right after the gym and stuff. So, and I don't even really, I think you're supposed to measure this out, but I just kind of YOLO it. Pour one out for uh, the dead homies. And then uh, maybe need a little more. It's been a dirty month. <laughs> week. Hasn't been a month since I've done laundry. I wish I had that many clothes. And this is the secret, guys. You take your load, you put it on heavy, that way you get a nice deep clean, and then you wash it on cold, super plus water level, and that's it. We hit start, and boom, guys. Laundry's done. Well, I mean, you still gotta fold it, but you guys get what I'm saying. So anyways, anyways, I've put off doing work long enough and uh, I gotta do this work and then I'm gonna watch the epic Travis S collaboration video that we made. So I'm so pumped it just launched, but I'm gonna get this work done before I check it out for the first time. So yeah, let's get this work done and then we'll watch it together. We'll watch it together. <laughs> what is up guys? Okay, all my work is done for the day and I finally have time to sit down, relax, kick back and watch the Travis S collaboration video and for those of you new subscribers that don't know, I think the last time you were in a video was probably at 25,000 subscribers. So we've added quite a few since then. This is my brother, Cameron. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> he is uh, my younger brother. You are, what are you now, 25? 25, yeah. 25, man, so you're a year, yeah, I'm 26, he's 25, so about a year older, year in difference, and can he, do we look alike? Come in and smile for him. <laughs> yeah, we always get that we don't look alike, but it is what it is. So he's going to sit here. Actually, tonight, I think what we're going to do Sundays, today's Sunday, this is kind of an R&R &R day for me a little bit. I mean, I've been working all day, so I don't really ever technically have a day off. But Sundays, I like to make sure I get all my work done early because you guys will be watching the video probably a little earlier upload time than usual. But uh, I like to make sure all my stuff's done. That way I can kind of like at least spend my evening doing something. So me and him are going to hang out. We haven't decided what we're going to do yet. Maybe go see a movie, maybe watch a movie here. I don't even know. Who knows? <laughs> the possibilities are endless. <laughs> we could do anything. We'll uh, cross that road when we come to it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, he came bearing gifts. So I wanted to show you guys real quick. I am drinking a diet caffeine free. There we go. Diet caffeine free aspartame free Pepsi. And what are you drinking, big dog? A classic. <laughs> a classic. Are you watching your figure? Uh, not, re not really. <laughs> So he's got a, uh, an unleaded monster and I'm rocking the uh, caffeine free diet Pepsi and I get some uh, crap for this from time to time people say like why would you drink that but aspartame is the worst chemical that you can have in your pop right it's one of the worst chemicals on your health in general and I don't really drink diet pop unless maybe out at a restaurant every now and again but this diet Pepsi the caffeine free and the regular not caffeine free both have the aspartame taken out. So these artificial sweeteners like sucralose, which verdicts out if those are healthy for you, but you know, it's in my brisket and aminos I drink it. It's in a lot of the stuff you're eating already. So it hadn't seemed to affect me at all negatively yet. <laughs> knock on, uh, knock on leather, simulated leather. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, you know, I go to stuff like this on a cut. Like, I feel like I'm kind of cheating a little bit without actually cheating. So stuff like this, guys, it's about finding those security blankets for yourself when you're cutting that really helps uh, you stick to your stuff. So I've been talking for two minutes and 30 seconds. We better watch this video. You ready? Yep. All right, let's do it. What did you think about that? I'm gonna get your reaction first. It was amazing. Burrito looked amazing. <laughs> Ice cream looked amazing. <laughs> How'd I do? Typical RJF fashion. <laughs> no problems whatsoever. 
<laughs> that uh, that video is so good. Shout out again to Travis for letting me on the channel and uh, sharing a little bit of his subscriber base with me so they can see what uh, we're all about over here at the, uh, the, the RJF House of Pain. <laughs> so with that, guys, I think it's where we're going to call it quits. I'm going to go ahead and put the link to that video in the description box once again. I know I've been talking about the last three videos, but I'm telling you guys, it is a good one. And Travis is a great, genuine dude. I really do have mad love for the cat, and I really think you guys would enjoy his content if you've ever checked it out. So go be sure to check it out. And with that, I'm gonna call this video to an end, guys. I'm gonna skip my Sunday night started off right. Me and the brother are gonna get into something. You can't, you can't neglect that family time. It's when you get older, it's easy to like kind of drift apart from people that you're really close with and neglecting relationships, like especially with your family most importantly, and old friends. And I really try, at least, you know, every every so often to get together and make sure. It's hard. It is hard, but still trying to make sure we keep, uh, we keep the relationships alive. So that is what we're gonna do today. But thank you guys, as always. And real quick, guys, you have someone in your family you haven't talked to in a while, shoot them a text right now. Shoot them a text and just say, hey, what you doing? Or hey, I miss you, or hey, we should hang out because I'm telling you guys, that's uh, something that you don't, you don't want to grow old. You never know what can happen. Tomorrow isn't promised, you just never know. And uh, if you really do love somebody and care about somebody, you should reach out right now, even if it's not a relation. If you have someone in your mind right now, if I'm saying this and there's someone in there, send them a text message. <laughs> All right, guys, we are out of here. Thank you so much as always for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It helps me out more than you know. And with that, we're gone. Don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better. I'm watching myself on the screen and you're you're just like yeah. <laughs> Cam, he's a man of few words, a lot of action though. <laughs> I'll see you guys at the next video. See you guys. See you.